When Brian Cox took the stage last night beneath the shimmering dome of the Royal Institution, his words resonated with a sense of revelation. With the soft hum of anticipation in the air, the audience leaned in as Cox described a phenomenon unlike anything previously seen. He revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope had captured a sudden and dramatic increase in the brightness of Betelgeuse, one of the sky's most iconic stars. Over mere days, the red supergiant's luminosity spiked by nearly 250%, astonishing astronomers worldwide. This flare ignited global fascination as professionals and stargazers alike shared in the wonder of witnessing cosmic history unfold in real time. For a brief, brilliant moment, science became poetry in motion. Betelgeuse has long fascinated astronomers with its immense size and unstable brightness. As one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye, Betelgeuse is not just massive, it's nearing the final stages of its stellar life. The star's erratic light variations, including the mysterious great dimming of 2019, have kept observers guessing about what lies beneath its turbulent surface. During that event, dust clouds and convective changes veiled the star in mystery, prompting wild speculation about an imminent supernova. However, the recent observation from Webb transcended all previous anomalies, revealing an unprecedented burst of brightness that shook the foundations of current stellar evolution models. This explosive increase in brightness defies the gradual pulsation models astronomers had relied on for decades. Those models, built on steady rhythms of expansion and contraction, now appear insufficient to explain such an extreme outburst. Webb's advanced infrared capabilities allowed scientists to peer through obscuring dust and capture this intense, rapid transformation with stunning clarity. The data suggests something deeper may be occurring inside Betelgeuse, perhaps a violent convective upheaval or the ignition of a helium shell flash. Either possibility would represent a major shift in how we understand the death throes of massive stars and force a re-evaluation of long-standing theoretical assumptions. Thanks to Webb's ability to see through dust and into thermal emissions, astronomers can now investigate these turbulent inner layers with unprecedented detail. These new observations are not only helping scientists uncover the physics of Betelgeuse's flare, but they're also captivating the public imagination. Images of the red supergiant's seething surface are going viral, inspiring both professional research and popular fascination. Telescopes are being retuned, planetariums are revising shows, and educators are integrating fresh data into classrooms. From high school science projects to graduate-level simulations, Betelgeuse is fast becoming a case study in real-time astronomy, teaching us all that the cosmos is anything but static. This event has sparked a global rekindling of wonder, a reminder that even familiar stars can surprise us and reshape our view of the universe overnight. One of the first tools used in probing this flare is spectroscopy, which breaks light into its component wavelengths to reveal hidden chemical signatures. A 250% increase in brightness could indicate that deep stellar materials, rich in heavy elements like calcium or titanium, are being brought to the surface. Webb's early data supports this idea, showing heightened emissions in specific ionized elements, which could point to shockwaves racing outward through Betelgeuse's tenuous atmosphere. If these shockwaves are traveling outward, they may be accelerating mass loss, ejecting material into space that will one day help form new stars and planets. In this way, Betelgeuse serves as both destroyer and creator, exemplifying the dual role dying stars play in cosmic recycling. The flare raises fundamental questions about the star's internal mechanics. Could it be a rare helium shell flash? These events have only been observed in theory or in stars of smaller mass, but this outburst may offer the first direct evidence in a massive star. Such insights could dramatically refine our models of stellar death and chemical enrichment across galaxies. With Webb's sensitivity to mid-infrared light, astronomers may finally detect thermal signs of these rare nuclear events, which might appear as short-lived hotspots on Betelgeuse's surface. By mapping the temperatures across different regions of the star, researchers hope to trace the aftermath of violent internal processes and decode their impact on observable brightness. These changes could provide clues about how energy flows through the complex layers of a supergiant's interior. If confirmed, such thermal footprints could transform our approach to studying stellar instability, allowing scientists to catch these fleeting phenomena in real time, rather than deducing them long after the fact. 
The global astronomy community is now mobilizing, coordinating observations across the entire electromagnetic spectrum. From the cool radio frequencies to high-energy X-rays, every band of light offers a different piece of the puzzle. Radio telescopes are searching for bursts of synchrotron radiation that might indicate magnetic field activity, while orbiting X-ray observatories like Chandra are on the lookout for heated gas emissions. Ground-based arrays, like the Very Large Telescope Interferometer, aim to resolve surface features and detect possible plumes or shock-induced hotspots. These combined efforts transform Betelgeuse into a living lab, a rare opportunity to observe stellar physics in action. Beyond the scientific implications, this event has stirred deep philosophical reflections about our connection to the cosmos. Betelgeuse, a fixture in the winter sky, is now more than a familiar beacon, it's a cosmic story in motion. This sudden flare, fleeting by astronomical standards, reminds us of the universe's dynamism and impermanence. Philosophers, poets, and artists are finding inspiration in its light, reviving ancient myths about stellar death and rebirth. It echoes humanity's long-held fascination with the heavens and reaffirms our place in a grand, unfolding narrative. What we see now may well echo in cultural memory for generations. Public engagement has surged. Live watch parties, real-time data visualizations, and educational tools are bringing the Betelgeuse event to the masses. Astronomy apps are offering light curve updates, while museums and planetariums host lectures, live streams, and Q&A sessions. Virtual reality experiences allow users to stand on Betelgeuse's surface, watching gas waves ripple across its fiery expanse. These immersive technologies make complex phenomena tangible, especially for younger audiences. What was once the domain of astrophysicists is now accessible to schoolchildren and hobbyists alike. This democratization of knowledge fosters a global culture of curiosity, reminding us that science is a shared endeavor, not a solitary pursuit. At the same time, theorists are returning to long-standing puzzles. Among the biggest questions, what role do magnetic fields play in driving flares and mass ejection in supergiants? Could magnetoacoustic waves, sound like ripples influenced by magnetism, carry enough energy to fuel Betelgeuse's brightness spike? The recent data, when combined with polarization studies, might provide answers. Furthermore, the star's changing brightness could be linked to new dust formation, reshaping how it emits light. Understanding this process isn't just vital for stellar physics, it has implications for how galaxies evolve and how the elements necessary for life are spread across the universe. On a practical level, this entire episode highlights the game-changing power of the James Webb Space Telescope. Though its mission was to peer deep into the early universe and study exoplanets, Webb has now proven indispensable in monitoring nearby stellar events. Its ability to respond rapidly to unpredictable phenomena opens up new opportunities in time-domain astronomy. Rather than merely cataloging the distant past, Webb can now track the dynamic present. Future mission proposals may increasingly prioritize active stars like Betelgeuse, turning these transient flares into a cornerstone of observational strategy. The telescope is reshaping not just what we know, but how we explore. Finally, Betelgeuse's flare may serve as a warning sign. If such brightening precedes a supernova, it could be the key to establishing a stellar early warning system. Paired with neutrino detectors or gravitational wave observatories, brightness spikes might provide crucial lead time to prepare for a nearby star's explosive death. Such coordinated systems could capture the last moments of stellar collapse with unprecedented clarity, offering humanity a front-row seat to one of nature's most dramatic events. By tracking Betelgeuse's light curve over time, scientists are inching closer to unlocking the secrets of supernova precursors, and perhaps one day, predicting the next great celestial flash.